The ISGS is located in Champaign-Urbana the, on the campus of the University of Illinois and we are part of the Prairie Research Institute, which encompasses not only the Geological Survey, but the Natural History Survey, the Water Survey, the Archaeological Survey, and the Illinois Sustainable Technology Center. Located at the university, it's public information and available to all the people that want to use it. So we're in constant contact with municipalities, counties, other state agencies, federal agencies, and the information is available and deliverable to, uh, to all of our stakeholders and constituents. The Illinois State Geological Survey has been leading a lot of the work on carbon dioxide storage geologically, in the, certainly in the continental U.S. So we've led a number of projects, including a demonstration project where we've injected three million tons over, over a number of years, and we're leading carbon safe projects, uh, which are funded by the Department of Energy to understand this process. The importance of having a carbon storage program at the state level is so that we can inform regulators, the stakeholders, the people of Illinois, on the processes involved in carbon storage and what are some of the uh, technical aspects and things to look out and we provide an objective view of that process from our technical experience. Some of the interesting aspects of carbon storage are that we're investigating rocks for injection of CO2 a mile and a half deep in many instances and this provides us with a tremendous opportunity to not just understand those rocks but the whole stratigraphic and geological column in the Illinois Basin and it's had big impact on other programs that we undertake. The Great Lakes coastline is the largest coastline compared to the Atlantic, Pacific and Gulf coasts in our country, yet it receives uh, less resources for doing just these kinds of things, at looking at coastal change as it relates to lake level change and to weather and climate events. The importance of, of sand management along the Lake Michigan coast relates to how we live along the coast. Sand is a secret ingredient and it helps protect from shoreline erosion. We use drones from the sky, we use drones on the water, a drone boat, and we use conventional technologies of using vessels and boats to map the bottom of Lake Michigan, to map the position of the shoreline and where that erodes or accretes, and to map the changes that take place on land from erosion by waves or by pushing the sediment from offshore up onto the shoreline. So if we look at the gains and losses, we can determine where the sand moves, how much there is, and what's needed if we need to nourish and replenish our beaches. A significant attribute of our coastal science program is bringing the science outcomes to policy and management decisions. We do this for the Illinois Department of Natural Resources Coastal Management Program, and we're also working with other federal agencies such as NOAA and the Army Corps of Engineers, as well as local stakeholders, managers of beaches and harbors and such, uh, to look at how their specific parcels of land or beaches are impacted by shoreline erosion. In McHenry County, we rely 100% on groundwater for our drinking water resources. And our groundwater is susceptible to overconsumption and potential for groundwater contamination. Uh, being in the Chicago metropolitan area, we've been experiencing exponential growth. So there have been great concerns whether or not we would have enough water to maintain that growth and to uh, maintain our water quality. So we've worked with uh, Jason Thomason and the Illinois State Geological Survey to do studies to better understand our water and protect our water resources. There are certainly basic concepts in geology that we need to communicate to policymakers and stakeholders. And when we can sit those planners down in front of a 3D geologic model and we can slice and dice that model any way that helps them understand a concept or see an area that they are interested in, it makes communication with them an order of magnitude better and helps them ultimately make better decisions in their policy making. We've been working closely with many counties in the Chicago metropolitan area who are all concerned about water resources and long-term water management. And in particular, we've been helping them understand their 3D geology and the 3D geologic framework of their aquifer resources. So it's been a valuable relationship and a valuable way to show our tools and use our tools to help those communities. I think one of the most rewarding things of being a part of a geological survey is you're really able to have an effect on public policy. Um, and we see that at the, at the county and municipal level with land use planning. We see it at the state level. We've seen things that we've done in state law and also federal law. 
My mother always used to say, well, you can't change City Hall. And the answer is, yes, you actually can change City Hall by having a positive influence on what it is you're trying to do.